In the Demon Slayer world, there are various references to places and things that are in the real world making you wonder what's real and what's not. Well, look no further because in this video, we'll be going over the 11 things in Demon Slayer that are unbelievably real. Number 11. To kick off the list, we have Tanjiro's hometown, located in Mount Komotori. Although there isn't much screenplay of his hometown as a memorable place where Tanjiro's journey began, I thought we ought to include it. Located in the southern region of Japan, Mount Komotori is home to Okutama Town, the same birthplace as Tanjiro. Boasting beautiful nature and a homey town, Tanjiro definitely was enjoying his best life before the demon came. <laughs> うん。じゃあ行ってくれ。竹雄。できる範囲で構わないから少し気を切っといてくれ。did anyone else get chills when Tanjiro walked past Muzan for the first time? Because I did. Believe it or not, the place they first encountered each other is real, that being Asakusa. Located in Tokyo, Asakusa is home to various temples and historic sites. Although the city may not be as vibrant as it's shown in the anime, it definitely holds on one of the most memorable scenes throughout all of Demon Slayer. <laughs> Number 9. Being a popular park in Japan, Ashikaga Flower Park was home to the Demon Slayer final selection exam. Having to survive a full week on the nearby mountain, Tanjiro found it to be a refreshing sight when he was greeted by the dangling flowers. Inciting fear into demons despite their appearance, the wisteria is the main attraction of the Ashikaga Flower Park. Boasting over 1 million yearly tourists, the Ashikaga Flower Park is easily one of the most famous locations within Demon Slayer. <laughs> Number 8. As many fans remember, when Tanjiro sliced the boulder in half during his training, it granted him access to take the entrance exam. Now, what if I told you this is a real place you can go visit? Ananui Watase Shrine is just this place. Actually, inspiring the scene from Demon Slayer, it has a split boulder itself. Number 7. Now if you thought the last one was crazy to be a real place, prepare to have your mind blown. Although it doesn't shapeshift like in the series, Muzan's Infinity Castle is a real place you can stay. The Aizu Ashinomaki Onsen is a hotel and hot spring resort that is known for its vast valleys and beautiful landscapes. <laughs> Number 6. Originally coming out as a movie, the Mugen Train arc takes place abroad one of the trains at the museum. Although it's not currently in commission, it is still interesting to compare real life things to how they are animated. If you are ever in Japan, you might want to consider stopping by and checking out this location. If you've enjoyed the video so far, make sure to leave a comment about which place surprised you the most and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get back to the list. Number 5. If Muzan's Infinity Castle was real, then surely the Demon Slayer HQ doesn't seem like a stretch to be a relocation. Located in the middle of Japan, the Kitakata Cultural Museum boasts the exact location where the Hashira would meet. Although it's not down to the exact detail, Demon Slayer does a good job at making the garden appear as marvelous as it is. <laughs> Number 4. 
Following Tanjiro's first fight with one of Muzan's direct minions, he stayed in the hospital for some time recovering. This place was referred to as the Butterfly Mansion in the series, but in reality, it is the Japanese Red Cross Central Hospital. Actually, open to the public, anyone can visit this hospital and be treated if they feel the need to. Although, I don't think it comes with the cute girls to treat your wounds. <laughs> Number 3. Within Demon Slayer, there are tons of characters all with their own designs, but they all share a common theme, their clothes. Taking inspiration from the Japanese army uniforms during the Taisho era, the uniforms in Demon Slayer are based on real uniforms. Although the original Japanese uniforms were stylish, they definitely didn't have all the different functions the Demon Slayer's uniforms have. Being made out of an elastic material, the Demon Slayers don't have to worry about rips and tears when engaging in battle. Although the uniforms are fire resistant and way much less than traditional armor, it doesn't mean you can't be hurt. Number 2. Although the true location was never revealed in the series, the Swordsmith's Village was regarded as one of the most influential towns in the series. Not only housing multiple episodes within the series, it also is home to all of the bladesmiths that create the Demon Slayer's weapons. Although it is not 100% confirmed, Seki City is the closest resemblance to the famous city within the Demon Slayer world. One of these characteristics is its clean water and vast materials, making it a hot spot for anyone hoping to get a new sword. Seki City not only boasts the materials for bladesmithing, but also the history behind a famed village known for producing knives and swords. Number 1. We've covered various places and things within Demon Slayer that were directly inspired by real-life events, but what if I told you characters were real too? As the main antagonist of the story, Muzan is feared throughout, making you wonder how his character came about. In Japanese folklore, there is a leader of all the demons called Nurari Hyun. Although their appearance isn't similar, their personality couldn't be more alike, both enjoying the riches life has to offer and being strict in their command over demons the author of Demon Slayer definitely relied heavily on Nurari Hyun's personality to create Muzan's. That wraps up the list. Let me know what place you still can't believe actually exists down in the comments section. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. Did you like this video and want to see more similar content? Click here.